description writing is under the informative explanatory umbrella. It was taught in separate stages, stages six and stages eight, because how you write a description is different than the informative explanatory sequencing and category type of writing. So we had to give them separate stages. So just like the organizer and the instruction for a description compared to the informative explanatory categories and sequencing are different in the instruction, so is the revising and editing bookmark. And that's going to be for stages six and eight. In stage six and eight, we have our introduction, body, and conclusion, but in stage six, we only have the topic sentence, details, and conclusion statement. In stage eight, we have the hook and snappy ending along with all the other parts. So if I were in a stage six and did not have hook or snappy ending, what would we do? We would cross out the hook and snappy ending with pencil. Notice this actually has a hook and a snappy ending. So when students get to this level, what would they do? They would erase where they crossed out the hook and snappy ending, and now they have the bookmark for the stage eight level. On the description bookmark, they have circle the introduction and conclusion. Found their hook and their big idea, and they circled it for their introduction. And then they circled the conclusion and snappy ending. Everything in the middle was the body. Notice these students drew a stick person. That's a wonderful way for them to see how their introduction body conclusion connects to their writing. And in the head they wrote I, they wrote body in the middle, and a C on the foot to label the parts. After we circled the parts, then we went back to code the text. They went and coded the hook the topic sentence, which was say the subject and define it with a definition. They had their details in the body, which were descriptive sentences that describe the parts of the subject. And then they had their conclusion, repeat that definition and end with a snappy ending. They went up, they labeled the hook, they labeled their subject, equal sign, define. Then they went to the body and they had their details that they numbered, and finally they went to the conclusion in which they identified their subject, their definition, and the snappy ending. All purpose of a descriptive piece of writing. It's to take a subject and describe the parts. So when we went to the body, we labeled the details by identifying the parts. And the parts that we described for the Statue of Liberty was her chain, the tablet, her robe, the spikes on her crown, as well as the torch in her hand. So we went through and we went detail one, detail two. We labeled each detail by finding the part. Notice over here on the side, I wrote one through five to make sure that I listed out each part, that I have all the parts that I wanted to describe and that these parts truly were on the Statue of Liberty. Below this, you will see the steps that you can follow in order to circle and code descriptive writing.